Hello, this is Mr. Sandberg, and I want to um, maybe clear up some confusion about what was going on today regarding Music Racer. Every day we've worked through note names, and very little has been turned in. And it occurred to me that we could take a couple of steps back and use something like Music Racer um, to help us approach the level of getting through note names. Some people are doing really well, and I honestly do believe that if people really just spent the time and did it, you'd get good, I think, pretty quickly. So that said, um, even though I think there's a deeper thing going on here, you know, as far as like remembering the teaching and stuff like that, remembering what your clef means, remembering the order of the letters, let me at least walk you through what Music Racer does. So in today, which is December 10th, um, in our lesson for today, I have a link and it says music racer, and then it says violins are to choose fingerings, and armonia y guitarón are to choose note names. And then you're supposed to start with your notepad, your iPad in portrait mode, or self, like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tick no, music racer, and we're gonna open it here. And we're gonna go down to, and I'll use fingerings for violin. And one thing you might notice, now it's working well right now, but occasionally this text right here appears like this. And if you only see that much, or if you see like that much, or even that much, refresh your screen until you see all of that. Now what that looks like is you'll, re I'm, in, I'm in trouble here, because watch this, I'm gonna refresh it, and I'll go back to the main page, do fingerings, do violin, all right, it's there. Sometimes it doesn't appear, sometimes it's, sometimes it's, excuse me, Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's there, and so on and so forth. So you want it to be there where you say, you are now on level A. If you can't see that, do it again, or level B or level C. So now we can go ahead and put it into landscape, and we're going to now play the game. And the goal is to get eight correct in under 30 seconds. Now you'll get a four if you can do it in under 10, okay? But anything between 30 and 10 seconds is a three. And then faster than 10 is going to be a, a score of four. So G, B, oh, blast, do it again. F sharp, fast, oh, I'm my fingers are too fast. I want you to see this, don't worry. I'm not worried about it. Uh, let me see, F, D, C sharp, A, C, G, F sharp, E. Good. Now, what you're going to notice here, it says, congratulations, you scored 8 out of 8 right with a time of 12.674, or whatever yours is going to be. Your winner code for future reference is that right there. Now, what happens if I do level A again and I get slower? Well, it, you won't be able to see that code. It'll tell you to do it again. It'll say, you're doing good, but you're a little slow. Um, pick up your speed. So I'm not going to put you through that right now. So what you'll do is you're gonna take that code and you're gonna copy the whole thing. You're gonna press copy. You're going to go back into Student Canvas. You're going to go to whatever level. Now this is level A, so I'm gonna choose level A. Now I've already submitted this a couple of times, but I'm gonna submit it again. I'm going to paste the code there and then submit. And you are all done. That all said, that's what you need to do for all three levels. You can stop watching this video now if you wish, or if you want to go on and watch the next couple of levels to see which, what you need to be uh, looking th uh, for, then you can go ahead and keep watching. So the rest of you, you, I will see you in the next video. Happy practicing. And for the rest of you, you can stay on if you wish and watch me go through the next two levels. Okay. Oh no, blast me anyway. Okay, A, B, C, C sharp. A, C, is that G? Yep. And A, B, C, and F sharp, and A, and he says that G sharp, that is, and C, and B, and D, and F, and let me see, I think that's E, and E flat, and what I want you to notice about this is that there are more questions and there's a few more note names. Um, let me see, A, B flat, and E, F sharp, G sharp, and then D right there. Okay, so there's a few more accidentals, sharps and flats.
Um, not all of them yet. That's level C. So again, we're going to take that and we're going to jump again back into student canvas. We're going to go to level B, which we just passed. And again, even though I submitted, I'll show you what to do. Paste the code, submit. You're good to go. And what I can do with that, oh, let me go to level C and play that game for you really quickly. So let's go to level C and play it. Okay, we have A, we have G, we have B, we have, let me see, is that D sharp, B flat? Yes. Okay, that should be C sharp. That is A, that is C, and G sharp, A flat, D, and G. We have, let me see, G sharp, is it G sharp, A flat? Yes, it is. And A sharp, and let me see, F sharp, G. Let me see, we have E, we have B. Um, F sharp, G flat, C, da, 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 da. that's B flat, that's right, okay, and I, let me see, da, da, da. is that A, yeah, and that's E flat, and the last one is B, cool, oh, I got on the scoreboard again, Mister. I did this the first time, and then um, I forgot to turn on the, my microphone, so you could <laughs> see all this, silly me. So submit info, did I copy the, paste the code? I don't know if I did or not. Oh, I didn't, blast me anyway. Well, if that happens, ladies and gentlemen, what you'll do is you'll just take a screenshot of that and then you can upload that. Well, anyway, um, so what you can do though with the, with the, um, with the codes is you can go back to regular music racer not the competitive one and then there's this thing called code checker and then you can paste that code in but yeah see i didn't copy that code i just got the medium one but it shows me that so i can see your time the day you did it um how, how long you took to do it excuse me fingerings medium violin and some other stuff and that's really all that i see there and then that's really cool. Then I know what to do from there, which is really awesome. If you have any questions, further questions about um, how to pass note names, um, I have videos available to help you out. And of course, you could just go to musictheory.net or teoria.com and um, go through their note name uh, lessons are really easy. And all you have to do really, you know, you can, the person can tell you a hundred times to do something. And it really takes a person to just Practice it, practice it, practice it to get it right, okay? So, um, and studies show that, by the way, that testing is more effective than reteaching. So that all said, let me know if you have any questions and have a good day. And until the next time, happy practicing.